Hi, I'm Nolan from paintbasket.com. You're watching our series of videos on how to create the perfect painting. Color perspective follows on from aerial and atmospheric perspective. So if you haven't watched the section on aerial and atmospheric perspective yet, please do that first. Now, I'd like to make a confession. I'm actually a very lazy artist. In fact, I think I'm probably one of the laziest artists out there. I like to get on with a job. I like to get it done and I like my final painting to look good. But I don't like to do all the thinking work. That's why I like to paint from nature. You see, if I copy from nature, I know my paintings will turn out good because nature has done all the thinking for me. I just need to follow along and copy. That's why I also like to encourage my students, my new ones, to paint lots of nature scenes. Because that gets them going really quickly without having to understand and do all the thinking work for, for themselves. Now, let me show you what I mean by copying from nature. And in the process, you're going to learn about how color perspective works. So that way I'll kill two birds with one stone. Told you I was lazy. In this photograph over here, notice how the mountains become bluer and bluer. Now, most art books you read will tell you to make all the objects in, in your scene appear bluer and bluer the further you move away from them. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret today. That is absolute rubbish. So not true. Let me show you another photograph and let's see if we can see any blue in the distance. I certainly don't see those background mountains becoming blue, do you? Let's take a look at another one. Here you can see the background mountains are actually becoming yellower and yellower. Not a touch of blue in sight. So let's unravel this mystery once and for all and see how to do color perspective correctly. Color perspective works in with the lace curtain effect that we chatted about in aerial perspective. You see, those particles in the sky are reflecting the sky color. So if we have a blue sky, those particles would reflect the blue of the sky. If it, like in the photographs we've just taken a look at, the sky is in fact yellow, those particles will also reflect yellow. So there's your secret. If you want to create good and natural color perspective in your paintings, reflect the sky color in your distant objects. The further away they are, the more of the sky color they'll reflect and the less of the mountain or whatever object is behind you're going to see. Easy peasy. If you've enjoyed this section of the video on how to create the perfect painting, why not head over to our website, paintbasket.com, and we'll give you free access to the full two-hour course.